Hi, this is John Kenalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece. A uh, very interesting patient that I want to share with you today. This is a young lady uh, jumped to her fundus exam first. I'm giving it away everything. Who, besides having a very nicely colored iris, has this very unique, almost unilateral, significant blepharitis and um, conjunctival conjunctivitis, a very reactive conjunctivitis that is not really showing any curatic or any cornea involvement in her left eye. The right eye almost seems completely uninvolved, uh, very naive. Left eye shows significant blepharitis. We can see the hyperemia, the um, uh, swelling of both upper and lower eyelid and the very significant reaction of the um, um, conjunctival. So um, in further investigation, uh, we saw it before, the fundus exam is normal. There's really no uh, vascular disease noted in the retina, optic nerve macula is fine, right eye, left eye as well. Everything looks good. Visual acuity is uh, 2020 plus on the right eye, 2030 uncorrect on the left eye, correct, only to 2020 minus. And uh, what we found interesting is when we discussed with the patient about eye rubbing, she mentions that she doesn't rub the eyes. This is a two year problem. She's tried several things and nothing has really helped. And when we're looking at anterior segment OCT here, we can see clearly, and it's amazing that this is a significant keratoconic patient. This is her healthy uh, right eye that is 2020, and we can see the minimal cornea thickness is 431, an astounding um, thinning of the cornea. We see the reaction of the um, cornea epithelium thickening away from the cone, but not blue necessarily. Uh, under 40 microns at the cone area, would seem, which tells us that the right eye at this point does not have active keratoconic disease, where the left eye, the eye with the pathology, has clear, hard to tell if the keratoconus is active here because there's a significant limbal stem cell deficiency going on with our uh, cornea epithelium uh, all the way down to 37 at some areas. Again, here, uh, keratoconus is even more prominent with minimal thickness, close to 400 microns. And let's see how uh, the OCT really underlines some significant disease in the epithelium and subepithelial that we missed on care for slit limb evaluation. So significant hyperreflectivity here on the uh, sub uh, epithelial and subepithelial area. Um, making our initial differential diagnosis of um, blepharitis, uh, perhaps uh, staph hypersensitivity, um, to um, expand to obviously keratoconus, uh, probably eye rubbing during uh, sleeping time. So we want her to study her sleeping habits. She probably rolls over and sleeps on her eyes, and especially on the left eye. Uh, and we should investigate also autoimmune and um, uh, also, probably um, the czar hepatitis uh, um, underlying cause here. So we're seeing how uh, a um, anterior segment OCT can really uh, elucidate our um, clinical exam, which um, even uh, at the hands of the, the most uh, experienced or a very experienced, I should say, team uh, can um, have limitations as far as um, possible uh, reasons of pathogenesis of this very significant problem in a young uh, lady in a productive life, which is aesthetically displeasing, bothers her all day long, uh, reduces her visual acuity, but more importantly for what we saw here, has ominous uh, uh, repercussions for her uh, short-term and long-term visual function. John Canalopoulos from Athens, Greece. Thanks so much for watching.